Hello YouTube, son Golan here. Today I am with the controller of my Hoopsan, the advanced version controller. And I am going to explain you the buttons it have and the functions. And also we are going to navigate inside the, the menu for you can see how it is and the options it has. First I want to mention this controller has two antennas, one for the receiver and control the drone and the other one for the FPV vision. Always is nice to, to mount this antenna with the Hobson logo facing on the on the back and twist the, the antenna to that angle in the way the, the Hobson logo is always facing the drone for have the better range. One time we have this set, I want to let you know, here in the bottom we have one output directly from the video, if you want to plug that into your glasses for make the FPV vision, uh, will be a really great experience, you will see the same you see in the screen. In here you have the USB port for update the firmware from the transmitter. In the sides of the controller we find these two knobs. Uh, they are not used in the model Hoopsan H501S for X is the one I have and these ones have no, no function. This is for control one gimbal but uh, that one uh, have, have not gimbal. The first switch we find in here is the headless mode switch. When the switch uh, are down, uh, that means it's off. When they are up, uh, they mean they, they are on. Headless mode uh, works really well in this drone and it's perfect when you have the drone really far away and you don't know where it's pointing the head. Just uh, you pop that and you call back the, the quadcopter and it will come really easy. Uh, that one is the GPS and everybody knows what's that. If you have this uh, down, that means you will fly it in normal mode. It will hold you the altitude but not the position by GPS. If you uh, switch on the GPS, the, the quadcopter will stay really, really stable in the position where you, where you left it because it uh, works really, really nice. Uh, that switch from here, uh, label it with the home, is obviously the return home button. Doesn't matter where, where is the quadcopter it will come to the transmitter. Uh, the switch with the B is the follow me mode and it's the same system. You need to have the GPS on and when you switch on the, the switch, the, the drone will face to you and, and follow you, making the follow me mode. Forget out of the mode, just uh, of the follow me mode and you will have control again. This controller have two, two modes available, mode one and mode two. Mode two, uh, is with the throttle here and direction in there and upside down is the mode one throttle there and direction in there you can select this mode uh, in the beginning when you switch on the for first time the controller the way to select the mode you like at the beginning is really easy if you want to select mode two is with the two sticks to the top left and switch on the controller or in other ways if you want mode one is one to one corner up and right corner to the other one and you switch on the controller that will enter into mode one i am going to do it uh, in mode two for you to see but the steps are the same one just uh, with the for mode one you need to put the sticks like that and for mode for mode two like that you switch on the controller and in the screen you can see it says it's calibrated stick mode now we need to calibrate the sticks and it's just up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right. And we do a complete circle all up, down. And we push the, the trim button to the side. And the, the mode is uh, done, calibrate and ready for use it. We have one menu in the controller and the way to find that menu is with the throttle down. We hit the enter for two seconds and we get into this menu where we have some different settings. Uh, inside we can reverse uh, positions or switches. Inside sensitive we can change the sensitive of the stickers and the other things. We can switch the manual mode on and off. Also with uh, the expert mode, the same happens, we can switch on and switch off. Here uh, we have the stick mode we are using, 
here we can select the frequency we want to use for the 5.8 gigas of the FPV and here we can see the version we have installed in the drone firmware and also in the controller if you want to see any uh, for navigate you use the arrows at up and down if you want to get in any of these we hit enter and we see the, the data we can find for exit we just exit like this and you are out this is pretty much all the buttons we have there is no no more buttons in the controller and that was the quick video i want to do about this controller just for introduce you and show you the the buttons and options it have hope to see you really soon in another video thanks for watching